Hello, welcome to Mrs. Cox's fifth grade math. We are in chapter 12, lesson three. We are working on page 919. All right, let's dive into it, shall we? There is a large pyramid standing in front of the Louvre Museum in Paris, France. The sides of the pyramid are shaped like triangles. Classify the red triangle based on its angles. This is handy that if you happen to have a chance to print these out or have these on your iPad, to pull them out. Or you can also have them bookmarked with stickies so it's easier to find in your book because you will definitely be pleased to have them for the test. And remember I talked to you guys about uh, marking them with stickies so it looks like that. So you can just quickly flip to them and find aha, angles and then on the other side is by sides. All right, let's dive into the homework, shall we? Do whatever is best for you and what works well for you. Determine the number of congruent sides. And remember, congruent means same length. There might be a test question sometime about what the term congruent means. So it means same length. Then classify the triangles by its sides. So if we're going to classify it by its sides, we're going to pull that out to help us out. How many of the sides of this triangle are congruent? Well, let's look. Well, what do you think? How many are congruent, friends? That's right. So based on that answer, what is our triangles classification? That's right. Scalene. Nicely done. Okay, vocabulary check. Fill in each blank with the correct term with the numbers to complete it. We're going to just pull those right there to see if that helps us out a little bit, okay? An equilateral triangle is a triangle with blank congruent sides. Well, equilateral has all congruent sides. So we're going to say, since a triangle has this many sides, we're going to say three congruent sides. An acute triangle is a triangle. Well, let's look at acute. Okay, there's acute. Three acute angles. An acute triangle is a triangle with three angles, each less than yeah, good job. Less than 90, and do that little degree sign, 90 degrees. An obtuse a triangle is a triangle with one angle that is greater than, yep, obtuse. That great big angle, that angle right there is greater than 90 degrees. And remember 90 degrees is if you can draw an L and then do a perfect little box in it. Okay, let's move on, shall we? Okay, we are on 920, please. Problem solving. Look at the triangle on top of the White House in the photo. Describe the sides and the angles. Okay, I'm gonna pull this back out because it's gonna help us out with this one. Sides and the angles. Let's look at it. So, I see on the sides, we are gonna classify it whether they're congruent or not. That one's really long. And those ones look like they're similar. So I'd say it has at least two congruent sides. So we're going to say two congruent. Remember we spell gru, our famous friend from Minions, G-R-U. And I always forget what comes next. E-N-T. Two congruent sides. I'm human. Good job. Now it wants us, so we did the sides. Now we have to do the angles of this triangle. So if I'm looking at it, I know that if I do a little L, L, little letter L there, it's smaller than, smaller than, and that's bigger than my little, little, little letter L. Wow. It is a morning of tongue twisters. So this one is obtuse. This one is acute and acute. So I see one that has one obtuse angle and two acute angles, so it is an obtuse triangle. So we're gonna say it wants the word obtuse on the angle and two acute. One obtuse angle and two acute angles. Okay, good job friends. Serena has an art easel with sides of equal length. She opened the easel and placed it on her desk. Classify the type of triangle formed by the easel and the desk according to its sides. 
Next, classify the triangle formed by the easel and its desk according to its angles. Okay, so first they want us to do classify it by its sides, and then next they want to class us to classify it by its angles. Okay, we can do this. So let's pull out our little handy dandy things again. We have an interesting little picture here. She has an art easel with equal length of sides of equal length. She opens the art easel and places it on her desk. Okay, so here is the desk, and then she has an art easel, one of those ones that stand up like this. So it's gonna stand up high, there's the front of the art easel, and there's the bottom of the art easel. You follow with me here? Okay, so she, we're now we need to classify it by its sides. So if I were to look at this, and see a similar triangle that's drawn there. What do you guys see? Yes, you see that an isosceles is the one that has two equal sides and then it's nice and tall. Isosceles. Now it wants us to classify it by its angles. So let's talk about our angles here. If I were to draw a letter L here, and a letter L here, and a letter L here, they're all smaller. They're so cute. So it would be acute. They're all smaller than 90 degrees or smaller than my letter L. Remember, if I do a letter L, I can do a 90 degree sign right there. And they're all smaller than the letter L. Okay, nicely done. Number six, okay, let's divide to this brain builder. <laughs> we can do it, right guys? Here we go. The image, the image shown at the right contains many triangles. Describe the different types of triangles found in this image. So describe, explain how you classify each type. Well, we know that we can classify each type by sides and angles, or excuse me, angles and sides. So let's see what we can find. I, let's see how many different ones can you see? I can see an isosceles triangle. There's an isosceles triangle right there. Ooh, that one's great. An isosceles triangle. There's lots of different triangles here. Great. There's a right angle right there. I can kind of see a obtuse angle. There, there is a right angle here, an acute angle. Wow, I'm seeing lots of them. So let's start writing them down. Let's see, I'm going to write, I can see an isosceles. And a scalene. You probably can write this faster than me. And that's okay. And I can see an acute, it's so cute. And then a right. And an obtuse. And how do we classify each one? By sides and angles. This is its first, our first answer. Here's our second answer. Sides and angles is how we can classify them. So the only one I really don't see in that one is the equilateral. Do you guys see one that's even on all sides? I think that's our only one we don't have. We have all of them but the equilateral one. Okay, good job on the brain builder one. Number eight, just by conclusion, as triangle has two sides, a triangle has two sides that are perpendicular. Could the triangle be an isosceles, equilateral, a scaling? Explain, include a drawing to support your answer. Ooh, if the sides are perpendicular, let's look at this for a second. Perpendicular means they intersect. If the sides are perpendicular, which means we could draw a plus sign, that's perpendicular. So let's remember on the math antics video when he talked about points, that if you could draw a point like that, that's perpendicular, you can also do a right angle. So which one of our triangles follow into that category? Yep, I'm gonna say a right triangle. Okay. And then a right triangle, because then they want us to say isosceles, equilateral, or scaly. So we know it's a triangle. It can be 
on this, if we had a right triangle, it could be a scalene or an isosceles. Or a scalene. It could be a right or a or a isosceles or a scalene. But it definitely cannot be an equilateral because the sides aren't perpendicular to do that. Okay, so I'm going to definitely just draw my drawing like that. So just draw a plus sign, draw a line that goes like this with that, and then you can see that will work out for a right triangle. And then it could also be our scalene and isosceles. All right, friends, let's move over to number nine. Which of the following figures is an obtuse triangle? Ooh, which one has a really wide angle? Let's do our little letter L's and figure out. Okay, that one's a little bit less. Okay, that one's an acute. Let's try this one. Ooh, that one is definitely obtuse. I'm looking at the rest of these. That one's an equilateral because they're all equal. So I'm betting our answer is this one because we have this angle right here that's a wider than 90 degrees. I would do a circle there instead. I try to do a letter L. I can't do a letter L there without it having being too wide. It's greater than 90 degrees. All right, friends, thank you so much for your time this morning. Please understand that you do have a reteach. It looks like this. Lesson 3 reteach classifying triangles. And it has the information there that you'll need. And then you just circle which one of these lines you feel that that triangle fits in. Circle which one of these lines you feel that triangle fits in. And then you can add your words here of what category it fits into. Now, I have a short video you need to watch on how to use the text box on markup. It's kind of fun. And then please make sure you send me a screenshot. Um, if you just try to email me directly off of the PDF, sometimes it doesn't work as well. So let's just send a screenshot and then ask your teacher a question um, and send it that way because it all dumps into my the same email in the same place and I don't have to go looking all over for your assignments. Okay, great. Happy Friday. Thank you so much for your time today and hanging out with me on Classifying Triangles.